obviously a, a big challenge this week is it have that same feel that I guess that Blues Crusaders rivalry's built up to again in the last couple of years? Oh look, it, uh, we've had some historic games haven't we over the last few years, you know they beat us at home, we've beaten them up there, um, we've got a couple of Awesome rugby, rugby players playing for them. Uh, there's a lot of history. Uh, this is what the, the competition needs. You know, yeah, it's going to be a hell of a weekend. Is it a bit different? This week? I mean, is, is it fair to say, you know, when you guys have met the last couple of years, both teams have come in, you know, full of steam and really good form, but, you know, is it a bit different? You know, you're still getting that sense that, you know, this team's trying to find their feet at the moment? Uh, look, yeah, we've, we've, we've showed a lot of effort. <laughs> like all our stats and everything, we've talked about, you know, what Crusoe's are and the effort and the ability to, to keep working hard there, but probably the execution part that we've really tried to, to focus on. You know, what we learned from the weekend, uh, how we could have shut out a game, how we could have played in those conditions. Uh, you, you, we've realised we thought we'd planned for and we went through all the scenarios but didn't quite achieve that, so... You could move on pretty quickly, you know. It's a bit another big game for us, um, another great opportunity for our players to go out and, and perform in a, a local derby. Was it good timing to get the Blues this week, Razor? Perhaps after the last couple of weeks, the start of the season. Uh, yeah, you know, the draw is what you get, and uh, you, you always look at the can, calendar and you see these games, and you know that Enon Park's a special place, and there's been a lot of historic games and, and battles and. You know, you're straight back into it. Uh, yeah. A few weeks ago, you were talking about the pre-season health. It was all looking pretty good. Does it feel like since then it's been one thing after the other? Just <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. Look, injuries. We're a collision sport. It's part of the game. It's part of what we play. And, and sometimes you get a great runs, and sometimes you get runs that you think, uh, um, when's it going to stop? But you know, we've got the best available team playing to us for us this weekend, and when. We'll get them ready and uh, get excited by the opportunity. Any word on, on David Havili? What's he looking like on that arm and what is it? Shoulder? Yeah, it's an AC. Uh, we're just getting our final sort of scan and uh, medical report on it, but it'll be a few weeks for him. Yeah. What are you looking at the midfield cover this week? Who's going to cover the midfield? Good question. Obviously, you've got Leicester and Sevu. Uh, they can play a bit of both. And a few boys playing and covering different positions this week. With just the nature of where we're at with their um, injuries, and they're good. We've planned for it and prepared during pre-season. If they need to start there in some stage, uh, they could, and yeah, they're ready. Just to clarify, is there another one of those, is that George Bauer covering tight head? George Bauer's covering tight head, <laughs> yeah. So he can swing both sides. Um, you know, it's good to have our, both our hookers back that weren't available last, last week as well, and, and obviously <clears throat> we decided to give the opportunity for our blacks to um, take one of the rest weeks as well, so we welcome them back. How's Tamaiti handling this load? I mean, he, he's you've lost your top two tight heads, and now he's got cut, just moved to tight head this year, and now he's yeah. playing big minutes. How, what have you thought of him so far? Yeah, we're throwing him in there. He's been awesome. You know, like he, he's a big lad. That um, one thing he's done is anything like this. When you give someone an opportunity, they have the ability to um, to own it, and he has. Like his work pre and post training. Uh, He's in great physical condition, best of his career, and look, he's been awesome for us. So, you know, it's amazing what opportunities you get. Um, a bit earlier than we expected, we'd probably would like to have worked him over to it, but he's in the end. Deep end, let's go. Have you, have you got anyone yet to, with the Fletcher Newell season ender? Are you bringing another tight head in? We're looking at it at the moment. They're a rare breed front rowers in our country at the moment, they are especially experienced ones. Uh, we've got a couple of guys that can and they swing, but we haven't made a final call who will come in and replace them, now. Just on the number eight raiser with Sione coming in, yeah. to start, is that a lot due to Christian's low, heavy minutes in the first three rounds? Oh, with losing um, Callan Grace, um, you know, Christian's been exceptional, but just the, it's probably back off performance, Sione. Like he's been exceptional every time he's come on. He's tough, um, aggressive. Um, he's good in the context. So yeah, a bit of both. Yeah. We talked about sort of needs must, but a, a special opportunity for Pepisana yeah, yeah. off the bench. Um, yeah. How, how's he sort of just acclimatised into Crusaders rugby, and, and you excited for the opportunity for him? 
Uh, look, it brings a lot of energy. Uh, he's a great pro. He's got his body right. He's, um, you know, as soon as he's available, we're excited to give him the opportunity. And uh, yeah, look, he works hard. He tops all of our stats and our GPS and meters. Um, we're excited for him, and, and so see. Just on uh, Jack Goodhue was, was the groin, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Islanders. Where, where's he at at the moment? Um, Jack, let me get down the list. He, he's, uh, he's still a few weeks away as well. Yeah. And I know you touched mm. on a few weeks ago, Will being a sort of week to week <laughs> proposition. Sorry to go through the, the full list there towards the bottom, but uh, <laughs> has that changed at all? Is he any closer? Nah. Is it still very much the same? Yeah, look, we're used to using the, yeah, the buy round as probably a marker for him um, just to reassess there. And you know, hopefully he's made some progress. Look, he's training really well. And, feeling better every day so and um, we're just working with him and, and yeah working with him so just make sure he's right and and ready to go like a, a, at 100%. Mm. Well, just to what extent is he training? Is he doing everything but is he doing physical or, or no? Yeah he's doing a little bit of like contact load and stuff but there's a lot of unknown in this so we, we trust him and and his feedback he, he's you know he's been through this before so uh, the medical group have worked really closely with him and um, he's making progress so that's that's the main thing. Test your depth this month before? <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. No, nah, not into round it? three. Yeah, we are embracing it. That's, that's the mindset. Look, we've had a great run over the years, and we, like I said, it's a collision sport. These things happen. We've got depth and we trust everyone. So, uh, look, yeah, it's exciting to give people opportunities. Does I have, I was going to say, there's one <laughs> other game, there's Wellington, was it 2018 or 19? I think we uh, had a really, you were missing a whole bunch of players. Yeah. It would it, it, it be similar to that one, perhaps. Yeah, I think so. It is actually. I, you sort of reflect back. You've gone to that that deep, but I think it was around eleven or twelve, <laughs> sort of around three. But you know, that's that's forty for me. I have to stand up here and, and uh, you know, we got an exciting team out there. So that's that's the thing you focus on: who you've got, not what you haven't haven't got. Thank you.